Okay, welcome back. We now have another video tour coming up here. It's going to be in the next zone of the shard, or shadow shard if you wish to call it that. And it will be in this section here, the Cascades, and it goes right through this portal here. So let's click, look at the lovely loading screens. We are now in Cascade Archipelago. And as always, let's open the map. Ooh my, that's a big zone to go through. Okay, there are eight exploration badges to get. As you can also see here, this is again home to a day job. Log out for a total 21 days in any of the shard zones, and you can get the Dimensional Explorer badge, which can also give you a jetpack. The jetpack is, is good for 30 minutes, after which you gotta log out in one of the shard zones to recharge it. It would take 10 days, by the way, to fully recharge it, so just as an FYI. But again, since I can fly on my own, we really won't need a jetpack. So, we're going to head off in this direction. As you can see, as it was with Firebase Zulu, we have a whole bunch of floating land masses to go to. And there, of course, will be assorted creatures on them as well. Targets to hunt for badges. And of course, this zone is also home to one of the Shadow Shard task forces. And we have the first badge, Peace Walker. Okay. So let's move on, we'll head off in this direction towards the next badge. That again appears to be the sun that supplies light for this dimension. Not hard to say because I know we won't be able to get to it. And we approach the next badge. It's around here somewhere. It's around here. I know this character doesn't have it yet. Ah! There we are. It's kind of sticking up a bit from the ground, but that's okay. Cast away. Hmm. The Maroon Shores. Hmm. Cast away. Why am I suddenly thinking of the Gilligan's Island theme song? Ugh. Banish that, banish that song from memory. Okay, let's proceed onward. We got another badge over here. So we'll pretty much fly off in this general direction. And we'll be checking the map as we get a bit closer to it. I pretty much have the map badges memorized, but with some zones, having the map locations marked is always a good thing. As you can see, some nice time and thought went into the modeling and designing of these zones. Granted, all the all the floating and travel time does get to be a bit, you know, a bit tedious on some of the task forces. But that's part of the game. If nothing else, it, en it encourages you to take a look at the entire zone. And I do believe, yep, we have the map, next map badge somewhere in this Red River. Whether or not this is magma or blood is, of course, open to a interpretation, but the next map badge is pretty much down here in the liquid. Like I said, we, we really can't see it, but again, we don't need to see it as long as it dings. Liquid memory. So apparently it's a form of blood that gives you a heck of a memory rush. Hmm. Okay, we'll just move right along then. And 
we're gonna go find ourselves. Take a look at this zone here. Oh yes, okay. Yep, we're right on course. And there are nemesis, there are roll of rule, there are circles of thorn in here to take down. So again, this is a good hunting zone if you're looking for defeat badges. Got another badge floating around here. Should be right around here. These these guys are level 41. They're really no threat. The only reason why they're attacking me is this power is turned on and it has a taunt aura to it. As well as other defenses. No big deal. And like I said, they're 41 to my 50. They really can't hurt me. And looks like this next badge might also be in the in the drink, and it is. So basically this fluid could flush your memory. Sounds like the waters of the river Styx. So we'll bear that in mind. And looks like we're heading off on this direction for the next one. Nice eerie music they have too for this zone. Very nicely done. Let's take another look here. Yep, well on course. Yep, should be this landmass that we're approaching that has the next badge. Yep, wing in. And we now enter a zone called the Chanting Islands. Music kicks up a little bit in tempo, okay. So, where's the next badge? It's around here. Bingo! Can't quite see it, but that's okay. More Rollaroo. Uh, that's alright, they're no threat. And there's the badge description. Okay, so we move on. We got two badges close by in this area. We'll go ahead and get those. Keep the map closed so we can see more of the zone. Definitely an interestingly designed zone, but again, if you can't fly, you don't want to stay here for very long. I mean, unless someone can teleport you around, there's... Mm, 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 mm. You definitely want the power to fly for this zone. There's just no real getting around it. Mm, mm, mm. Maintain course. Probably have to go up a bit to one of these land masses if memory serves, but that's okay. Let's fly over to here. So we approach the next badge, which I think is on one of these tiny floating land masses, if my memory's right. Let's take a look here. Oh, nothing there. Huh? Perhaps it's. Let's take a look down here. Perhaps it was right here. Yeah, this is looking familiar again. Got it. Again, can't quite. Oh, there it is. Okay, but as I've said before, as long as you're near it for it, it'll register.
Okay. So let's go in this direction, and as I recall, we gotta go up. For to reach the next badge. forward, and we'll see what we get. Oop, we found it. There it is. So going by the lore of those badges, this place can definitely do a mind twist on you after a while. Okay, duly noted. And let's proceed to the next badge. No history plaques to get. They did not put any in the shards, which made many of us very happy. <laughs> There's enough history plaques to receive in, from the other zones. We really don't need to be constantly gallivanting through the shard to pick them up pick up any more of them let's see now so got a little ways to go here we'll find it This general area looks like we gotta go down a little bit. Yep, just making sure. Yep, no land masses above, so it's all gotta be this way. And we got it. Whoops, and yep, that was number eight. Here's the accolade for getting all eight. Okay. So that's done. Alright then. Oh, the, entr the entrance and exit to the zone is a little bit of a distance away, but again, we can just simply fly out and do the drop. Some more circle of thorns to deal with. Ah, here we have a vortex that can take us out of here. Let's go hop into it and see where it lands us. Ah, right back at Firebase Zulu. At the far end of Firebase Zulu, that's right. Well, that's okay. Once again, we just do the drop. I'm falling forever! No, 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 no! Whoops! But what do you know? Back at the beginning. Okay then, hope you enjoyed that little tour of the Cascade Archipelago. Our next vid will be another one of the Shadow Shard Zones. We'll see you there.